G'day, it's James here from Espresso Resto where restored is the new new. It's a bit of a different production today, a selfie video with a teeny tiny little espresso machine, the Nuva Simonelli Mia. So the Mia by Nuva Simonelli is really a bit of a design statement. Now this is a unique shaped espresso machine. Where do you get an espresso machine that's a cut out cube? You can actually put your hand all the way through, which is absolutely not necessary, but there you go. And surprisingly, you can actually put everything you need to make espresso just in this little top section here. Inside there, you've got a pump, a boiler, some valves, tubes, and wiring. And believe it or not, in here is where the water tank is. So everything's sort of like tucked away, hidden, in sort of strange places, but there, everything's there to make espresso. So the boiler itself, which is in this section, is the classic brass boiler, similar to what you see in the Lelites or the Nemoxes or Francis Francis's that we've done videos of before. So it's a decent sized boiler. So it's got a bit of capacity for, for steam generation and espresso back-to-back -back shots. Um, but that's pretty much where it departs from those other machines. Uh, there is no overpressure valve, but not the end of the world there. Um, and the button arrangement is a little bit unique. Now, to turn it on, it's on now. We've got a brew button. We've got the hold down to heat my boiler up even more to steam level. Um, and then we've got a hold down to let the steam out of the wand because there's a uh, two-way solenoid valve in there that allows you to open the steam path to the steam wand. There are no knobs because they're just a knob wouldn't look right on this machine I guess so they, were, they thought how can we release the steam or we'll just use an electromechanical valve but you have to hold that down to let that release and while it's on there's no lights on unless the element is running and then the light pops on here. There's no like brew ready light. That light just comes on when you switch the button down. So kind of a little bit of different logic to say the Gadget Classic, which you'd expect to sort of lights to pop on when things are ready, but it's more a case of when things are operating, the lights are on. Right, so a couple of other considerations with this design piece that is the Mia by Nivis Minnelli is that the drip tray is a little awkward to get out and it is very shallow. So there's not a lot of um, drip tray there. But if you're just making like a latte or a, a um, espresso a day or something, you'll probably be fine. Um, it's not, not gonna serve you well if you're doing a lot of coffees because it will fill up with a few drips here and there. If you wanna run some water through the group, to um, say warm up the quarter filter at the start of the day and it will fill up quickly. Right, so around here to where the water tank is, this is an interesting feature. Now I have to lift this up just a bit to get that open because I've had to change the little rubber legs underneath and these ones I put on are a bit shorter. So the water tank's in thing, you pull that out and you lift out a little intake um, and then you access fill a hole and pour some water back in there. Right. Then you gotta put the filler into the intake back in nice and tight and then just push that back under and close that up. So that's the two sort of interesting small things. That the tank is probably got a litre and a bit in there, maybe a bit over a litre. So that's a bit of an overview of the machine. So why don't we turn this all around and have a crack at making a coffee. Right here, so we've got a 53 mil um, water filter. Now this is similar to the dimensions of the Seiko Via Venezia, but the little tabs are different. I tried using the, the water filter I had there, which I had naked for, but no luck. 
Also, there's no um, spring to hold the basket inside the water filter. So it's one of these old school ones where you have to put a little plastic tab to hold the basket in the water filter when you're knocking it out. So I have my 53mm tamp from my Seiko. So we'll put that a little bit of tamp. There we go. And now, lock that into the group. The gasket there might need to. Oh, hang on. I like a bit of an issue. It is very short. So, realistically, I'm going to need a little teeny tiny espresso um, shot glass or espresso cup. Oh, there you go. And a little espresso cup to get underneath that um, port filter. So, it is really an espresso machine. So, if you want to make a milk drink, you're pretty much going to have to meter out a dose, pour it into your cup, and then do your milk and pour it in there. So you can't do it all underneath in one cup, so you're going to be dirty in two cups. Let's see how we go with that. So, as mentioned, we've got it on. There's no light showing. You might think the machine's dead. It's not. Now I'm going to hit the brew button, and the light should come on that show that it's brewing. There we go. It's brewing. And through the, the grinds and out comes some lovely dark espresso. That'll do for this fish Now, no three-way solenoid in here, so you do get a bit of a drip drip after your brew. So it's just one of those springs with a little rubber stopper um, at the bottom of the boiler. No big deal. The puck will be a bit damp. If you let it go for a bit, if you're not in a hurry, just tear it out, knock it off and get another shot in there. Just leave it in there. It'll, it'll be fine. Now, if you want to steam some milk, let's, um, let's get our shot into our latte glass. That's over there. Now, steaming milk, interesting. We need to hold down the button here to rev, basically rev up the boiler. So you can see that when I push that down, the boiler light comes on. So that's just putting power to the boiler. It goes over the, the brew boiler's um, thermostat up to the steam thermostat. So if I keep holding that down, It'll get progressively hotter and start generating steam in the boiler. Uh, and then we can um, run this. So I hold it like 15 seconds or something like this. It's probably starting to get quite hot already. There we go. So we're going to have a bit. So you can actually hold, keep holding it down while you, while you steam. It'll give you a bit of an indication of what happens when um, we press down the button. Oh, there it goes. See, so I'm basically opening an electromechanical valve. And let's give that a go. Now, I've, I'm just releasing the element, so there's probably... Oh, there we go. And then if you notice the steam starting to drop away, you can always just uh, push that down a bit again and get a bit more heat into it. It's actually quite pretty good steam actually for a little teeny machine. Classic boiler, I would say. So it looks not perfect. It's a little harder to control. A little bit, a little bit bubbly. That's a latte. 
out of the new Simonelli Mia. So that was the Mia by Niva Simonelli. It is an interesting design statement with all the ingredients to make an espresso with some little sort of quirks and eccentric bits to it. But if you're looking for something on your bench that's very unique, then you can't go past this machine. This is really possibly one of the more unique ones out there. I've had fun using it and I've had fun and lots of comments about it while it sat on my bench. So get out there, get something different, don't buy new, get restored. But in the meantime, keep caffeinated.